hello what's up guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so guys in this video i'm gonna tell you how to fix facetime reactions not working on ios 17 update so guys many ios 17 users are complaining about that facetime reactions are not working properly on their iphone devices and they don't know how to fix this so guys if you are facing this type of issue and looking for a fix so you're in the right video in this video, I am going to tell you how to fix FaceTime reactions not working issue. First of all, you have to do is update to the latest version of iOS 17. Make sure that your device is running the latest version of iOS 17. Updates often include bug fixes and improvements. Check for update by going to settings. Tap on general, tap on software update and check if there is any available update for your iPhone. If there is. Then simply update your iPhone to the latest version of iOS 17. After this, then you have to do is you start FaceTime. Sometimes issue issue with FaceTime features can be resolved by restarting the FaceTime app. You can do this by closing the app and reopening it, or by restarting your device. For FaceTime, you have to simply open the FaceTime, close it, and try reopening it. Or you can simply restart your device. To do this, you have to open your settings, go back, go to general, scroll down, and then tap on shutdown. Shut down your iPhone and then restart it after 15 to 20 seconds later. So, guys, if restarting doesn't work, sorry. So, guys, if restarting doesn't work, then you have to do is check for Date and time settings. Incorrect date and time settings can affect with your FaceTime reaction. So you have to open your date and time and you have to make sure that the date and times are select correctly or the, or the set automatically is unable. After this then you have to do is check for app update. If FaceTime is a part of a system update, make sure that all your apps including FaceTimes are up to date to their latest version from the app store. You can open your app store. Tap on your profile and from here you can see which app need update or you can simply update them all to fix the issue. So guys if this doesn't work and you are still facing the issue then you have to do reset all settings on your iPhone. You can try setting all settings on your iPhone. This won't delete your personal data but it will reset system settings to the default. To do this you have to open your settings, tap on your general scroll down and then tap on transfer or reset iphone tap on reset tap on reset all settings to your passcode and fix your issue so guys if this video helps you then make sure to like and subscribe my youtube channel for upcoming videos and thanks for watching